What up gamers? My name is Roll Easy and I'm back today. Guys, it felt so weird not to upload yesterday, but today we are back. It is Tuesday, which means the tunables have been updated and we have a bunch of new shit. Some good, some bad. I'm gonna go over it with you guys. So we did receive the Night Shark. Finally, it's about goddamn time. As you can see on the screen, buying it now for $1.245 million. Not so bad considering the other cars and the other, you know, war stock vehicles have been pretty expensive. But this one's a good one. We all knew what it could do, and we've been waiting for it for a while. Hit the bell icon, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit them all. All right, guys, let's keep growing on this channel, and let's get started. First of all, it's fast as fuck. It's great customization options, you know, similar to a regular car. Take a look at this. I'm going to show you what happens when you just start unloading bullets in it. It breaks those windows pretty goddamn easily. You can shoot right through it, kill anybody in there. So just like all the other Warstock vehicles, that is the downside. These are regular rounds I'm shooting right here with my Mark II weapon. Uh, although it's the Mark II, don't worry about it. Every other weapon can pretty much do the same exact thing. As you can see, it blasts straight through there. So imagine what you could do if you had your minigun out. Uh, still though, it is a pretty good goddamn truck. Uh, I would totally recommend buying it. This is just the one downside. You know, windows break easily, but like I said, every Warstock vehicle is the same exact way. Here are the sticky bomb tests, all right? So there's one, there's two, and a third. Will a fourth do it? Nope. But this fifth one will, even though I put it under there, doesn't matter where it is, fifth one blew it up. So it can take some damage, but you know, pretty good. I'd say it's definitely worth the buy, so go check it out. Right here on the screen, we have the new overtime shootout, which is our new adversary mode. I'm not too thrilled about it. I liked the Overtime Rumble better. It was a lot more competitive. A lot of people said that they didn't like being knocked off the, you know, the platforms. I didn't either, but that was the whole point, being competitive about it. In this one, I found it a bit boring just sitting there and spectating, waiting for everyone else to go. And in this game mode, I had actually only joined two people. So it was only three of us and I was already getting bored. I can't even imagine what it looks like to have, you know, five people on each team. You go one fucking time and you got to wait for nine people to go. So I I'm not too thrilled about it. It is double money, double RP. So go ahead and check it out if you are interested in getting, you know, more legit money. Uh, speaking of legit money, you know, you could also head over and do the premium race, which is Mountain Drop. It's, uh, it's locked to the bikes, as it says here, and the uh, time trial is the Maze Bank Arena. I haven't tried either one, but I do know all the time trials, you will get $52,000 for completing it on time or before time. So make sure you go check those out. Now, apart from that, we do have some discounts I wanted to talk about. We have 25% off the Mobile Operations Center. So if you haven't picked one of those up, now is the perfect time. Weaponized vehicle customizations and a mark II ammo types and a lot more as it says right there I'll leave this on the screen so you guys can look at it for a little while go ahead and pause the video if you want to read through it thoroughly But the discounts are pretty good. They have given us 25% off the latest supercar Which is the Dubashi Wagner. So if you haven't picked one of those up now is the time and Yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today guys not a crazy crazy amount but still pretty exciting that we got some new things to do in GTA for the week. And yeah, if you want to keep watching the video, go ahead. Uh, I did want to update you guys on the money glitches at the moment. The solo car duplication off the radar glitch is still working. The caddy method, I'll leave the link down in the description. As well as the easier two-player method when you park the MOC right back up to the blue circle next to your crate or vehicle warehouses. They both do work. So I'll leave both links in the description so you guys can, you know, go check those out, make some money. All right, guys, make sure you hit that blue thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and make sure you turn on bell notifications so that you can be notified the instant I post any more of this informative, fresh, dope motherfucking content. All right? I'm Roll Easy, and I hope all you guys have a great day, and I'm signing out.